You know what you're here for. I know what I'm here for. Come on now, do it with me. Now we're in the present moment. My king, my queen, now you, yes, you can sit back and relax. I saw this positive energy and positive content. Oh, I tell you, feel me? Take this positive energy real quick. Boom. Woo, you felt that. I know you did. Hold up. One more time. Take this. High five me. Boom. Woo, take that positive energy real quick. Now, there's something I usually do in the beginning of my videos. What could it be? The bird's saying, what can it be? What could it be? Oh yeah, gratitude. You thought I forgot this express gratitude? Come on now. Breathe with me. Do it. Let's take a moment to express some gratitude real quick, man. Hey man, y'all know. Y'all already know what we do with gratitude over here. Because I get y'all in the present moment. Express that gratitude equals happiness. P plus G equals H. Come on now. Now, y'all got to take time to be grateful. To have... Wait, not me to have. Y'all gotta be grateful to see another day. To God, the universe, Allah, Jah, whatever you believe in. You're here to see another day because the fact of the matter is some people passed this day on Thursday and they didn't know last Friday was last Friday they were ever going to see in their whole entire life. Isn't that crazy? You gotta make it until Friday, bro. You almost lived a whole other week. Be grateful, please. You could be gone within the next hour. You don't know what life has in, has in store for you. You still got eyes, you still got hearing. Bro, you still got your vision, that's what I mean. Arms, legs. Bro, you got a house. You got a warm bed, bro. You got a heater. You got blankets. You got food. Some people got, and it's December, but you know it's cold. Some people got to sleep out in the cold, bro. Come on, some people sleep under park bridges, park benches, park bus stops. Not park bridges, but under bridges. When you get to sleep in a nice, warm, cozy bed, you're not entitled to that bed, bro. Be grateful. You're not tired to have any food, water, utilities, none of that stuff. Be grateful, please, bro. Please. Also, with your water, right? Too many people die of dehydration each year. You can pour five water bottles worth of water. Visualize this with me. One, two, three, four, and five. Just like that. It's not plenty of water left over to drink. Isn't that crazy? When people in India got put a, the water they drink, it's like a, it has like a, a clump of mud in it. That's how dirty it is. Be grateful, please, bro. Please be grateful. And also, some people in India, a family of five, a single mother, four kids, they sleep in a sewage pipe. A sewage pipe, bro. Yes, a sewage pipe. You get a nice, warm, cozy bed, bro. Come on now, be grateful. The heart beats 4,000 times per hour. Touch your heart, you're alive. Be grateful. Now, the title of my video is called, as y'all know by clicking on the video, the best way to spend your quarantine. These are the best ways to spend y'all's to spend y'all's quarantine. You ready? <clears throat> Let's get out of throw chakra going. Take this positive energy real quick. Boom. Woo. You love it. I know you do. We in the gratitude. We in the present moment. Now, as y'all know, the state of the world that we live in right now, it's not the best. A lot of people in the world are in lockdown and they're in quarantine. You know they you know, they're not allowed they're not allowed to leave the house. And I know y'all are probably bored out of your mind because we're not used to having so much time on our hands. But guess what? I'm gonna help y'all. I'm gonna help y'all out today. I got some stuff that will help y'all spend your time more wisely and better. All right. Hang on one second. Let me look at my notes. Bet. All right. First things first. Take this time to heal yourself. You have so much time right now to go and heal yourself from any past trauma, trauma you're currently experiencing, any grudges you have against people. Learn to forgive them. Let that go. You don't just deserve to hang on to that energy. What's like? What? What else is there? Oh yeah. And also, you can go and heal any ungodly closure you don't have. You can go and heal any past wounds. You can heal all these internal wound, all these internal wounds, bro. Number two. What do we have here? We have okay. Look for new hobbies and, and interests. You know, because you got. Think about it. You have all this time in your hand. You could go and search out some new hobbies and interests and try it. You know, it could be a really amazing experience. Or even better yet, you could go and find a passion for that, bro. And you could go and that passion could lead you on to finding your life purpose. Like me with meditation, bro. Number three, be grateful for what you have. You got to realize, literally, when, right now, turn this video off, sit down in your room, Look at all the things you have to be grateful about. A house, food, family. You're still alive, bro. Be grateful. It could be 10 times worse. And that's so true. You're not tied to anything you have. Something to do in your quarantine? Be grateful. Practice gratitude. 
P plus G equals A's. Press the moment plus gratitude equals happiness. Number four, cherish your family and loved ones. You're stuck in the house all day with your family from literally with your whole family, your aunts, uncles, brothers, sisters, moms, dad, grandpa, grandma, whatever. Be grateful for them, bro. Make some new memories with them. Cherish the time you have with them. Because you got to remember, not everybody has a family. Be grateful for yours, bro. Some people had to eat Thanksgiving dinner alone. They don't have a family. But you have a family. Look at the beautiful nature. That's part of my family. Come on. Y'all have to be grateful for your family. Let them know. Tell your mom today, I love you and I'm grateful that you're my mother. Do it, bro. I'm telling you. Number five, work on yourself. And when I say work on yourself, I mean really work on yourself, dude. I know you can do it and I'm proud of you for taking the step. I, here's how y'all go. You're saying, huh, like, I want to work on myself but I don't know how. Do this, right? Sit in a room alone by yourself. Not, not an another person, bro. Not a cat, not nothing, not a fly. Turn your phone all the way off. Put it in the drawer, lock it, do something. Get a sheet of paper with a pencil or pen, whatever you prefer, and literally list out everything you do not like about yourself and everything you want to change about yourself. And then on another sheet of paper, go and list ways to solve this problem and, and how you're going to work towards it. Because you're having that self-realization that, oh, I, I have all these things I need to change about myself, and then boom, that self-awareness for you to go and change it, bro. You're working on yourself. That's an amazing way to use this time that you have in quarantine. You have all this time to work on yourself. I love y'all so much. That, that's it in the video. I love y'all. Peace.